in a wind that's drying up the blood on the old wood floor. Well, it's artist spotlight time again. Lincoln Durham is literally a one-man band. His style and energy are really one of a kind, but man, let me tell you, his musical chops and songwriting have us here on the show proudly waving a flag for this super talented singer-songwriter. Beautifully Sown, Violently Torn is the name of that song. It's a brand new song. I'm a big reader. I love, I love to read books. And I was reading a, a, a book, a, kind of an autobiography, I guess, of this girl who had a pretty rough childhood, you know, and so it's kind of my take on that. It's, uh, my songs tend to get a little dark at times, most of the time, and that's probably one of my darkest songs. The title of the, the last album uh, was The Shovel Versus The Howling Bones. I'm not very good at uh, writing a love song because today I need to write a love song. Uh, I usually just write because it's, it's an emotional time for me. Something something's struck me emotionally and so I write. So, it's a very, so this whole record is a very emotional record. It's a story about myself, you know, about my past, about my childhood. But it's the shovel against the howling bones, but basically they're the same entity or the same person. So essentially you're burying yourself while at the same time contesting your own burial. I'm a very dark writer and so I, I, I tend to try to be a little more you know, happy-go-lucky when I'm when I'm in the public and on stage, just because it, like I said, I think if you if you kept that image up or, or, or the darkness in there, then it would just you know it would just get too much for people. People wouldn't wouldn't want to come to the, your show anymore. They just want to stay at home and sulk. One, two, three, put him out of misery. Four, five, six, just to please him, we get kicked. Been born to powder, you better born to breeze. Forever less and as I. Annie Departee. That's a fun song to play. It's just about a, a, a kind of a desperado girl who, who's got a, a, a quick trigger. That is a, a cigar box guitar, or uh, otherwise known sometimes, I guess, as a diddly bow. It's a cigar box with a, a, a basically a broom stick, a broom handle stuck in it. Uh, got a big bass G string on it and a, and a pickup. And it's just the, 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 it makes no apologies for itself, you know, you, you, you just plug it through an amp, put as much distortion on it as you can, and, and just tell everybody to, to, to hold hands, uh, and we'll get through it. I like using stuff that, that may or may not slide out of tune halfway through the song. The new album is, uh, is in the works. It's darker, I hate to say that. For people that already maybe think I'm too dark, but it is it is darker, it's more weird. George Reef is producing this record. He co-produced The Shovel. We have Rick Richards, the drummer. Rick is uh, doing the percussion on it, and so it's this really broken down, the weird, heavy, heavy, uh, uh, rhythmic kind of an album. And I think it embodies the, the one-man band kind of a thing, or whatever you want to call it. I used to not want to call it a one-man band, but now I embrace it. I mean, I bang on, on uh, suitcases and get, you know, cigar boxes and, and being the one-man band, though, you don't really have a, 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 the rest of the guys to feed off of. You really feed off the audience. And so I have such an appreciation for those audiences who really uh, give the feedback, you know. So when they're, when they're just rabid, you know, and, uh, then, then there's, just, there's nothing like it, you know. And so you just kind of keep pumping each other up until, until you're just in some, some fit of musical ecstasy. <laughs>